hey guys what is up we're back with another week of undead unluck and just fyi anime nyc has officially started today from friday right but i will be there tomorrow on saturday the 18th november 18th and they are also having a undead unluck panel there as well so I'm going to be there to see what is up, if there's any new news about it, which I will most likely share with you here either on um, Sunday or throughout the week or through a YouTube community post as well as on Twitter, aka known as X, right? So from last week's episode after the Spongebob reference, we are now dealing with the Uma aka spoil okay so being in proximity going into its target range can reduce a person or any living organism into a living walking quartz aka a zombie so we have where shen fuko and fuka and andy are there now having to go capture spoil but at the same time um they have to find a way to defeat him because there is a countdown before you are turned into a zombie okay and andy being undead may be the catalyst to it all so without further ado let's get into undead unluck episode seven We had Psalm 100, Spongebob, Attack on Titan references. Not the kid. We even had like a bride. Oh. How about to say, like, why was that such a long pause? Yeah. <laughs> she said, before I turn into a zombie, I just want to know what it feels like to get married. The fact that these kids have a count, I think it affects like how old you are. The older you are, it's faster versus a child. Oh, that's when spoil came a week before. Oh. Yo, this is really looking like. Oh, she was a the daycare teacher, the bride. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Number seven showed up on everyone's tummy. Mmm. Dang.
So she put the kids down there while all day. I'm not gonna tell I find a handsome guy to say, wow. Props to teacher, bro. Like, dang. Dang. Bro. Oof, that's rough. It just came out, no, an anomaly just came out of nowhere and just did that to a whole town. Oh, her numbers, oh no. Her numbers are going up. I mean, going down. <laughs> he one strong little boy. So is it affected by their emotions? So the more negative the emotions are, the likely chance of them spoiling in a way. Dang, what that say about adults, bro? My man moving like he got to freaking gear. <laughs> Oh, nah. No, go back inside. Yeah. I think it's because she, like her, you know, caring about the kids. That's why she's not fully spoiled. And also because she wants to get married. Wow.
Dang. Oh, yeah, I forgot her unlock. I'm like, wait. Oh, yo, it's her unlock. Yep. <laughs> no, teach. No. Not her sacrificing herself. No way. <sighs> I don't want to cry, bro. I don't want to cry, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, oh my God. I'm like, why the teacher got, there was a whole bomb factory there? Dang, how the heck are they gonna defeat Spoil? No, yeah, keep the kids down there. At least they broke off the head off its face. Yeah. 
But how are you gonna defeat? Huh? huh? Not him trying to inhale. Oh my God. What the hell? He's shielding himself? Oh! Oh no. Oh, you hear that? From the swing leave of beans, the timer places on them has to reach to zero. Okay. So once it reaches zero, you turn into a spoil. You turn zombie. <laughs> and the dreams and positive emotions you have raises your numbers back up. Oh, no. the Statue of Liberty. Oh, Spoil Nose Apocalypse. No. Oh, shoes hitting faster. So the closer you are, you get spoiled. Oh, no. Oh. Why is it looking like that that monster from Wall's <laughs> Rainbow like that? Nah, he was looking like sea monster. That's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> oh, no. What the? Girl, if you don't start running.
mean... <laughs> As you, yes. What numbers are keep going down? Dream, yes, that's what I was thinking. Numbers going up. Yep. So basically your dreams, aspirations can make the timer go up. Yep. The greatest in all creation. Okay, my guy. Oh, oh, he's a... Oh. Okay. So, low-key, this episode kind of had me a little sad because, you know, with the teacher who was taking care of the orphan kids at the daycare, right? And these kids are waiting for their teacher to come back but unfortunately she has been spoiled and turned into a zombie so where we see the uma spoil its rules are because it imposes its rules and it's a being that's been sent down from god to impose new rules onto the earth that's a whole function of umas in the most basic way you can explain right and by doing so they once they create their new rules the rules are implemented and everything within their own radius or basically anything surrounding it is affected by that ruling and the whole point of negators is that they negate that rule and then implement their own rules from the uma right um yeah so they they basically negate the rules that uma's place within the area because they've been sent by down by god to do all of that so for spoil its rules are it will spoil any organic uh living material within its radius right and the way to beat that rule is through dreams so they were stating and showing in this episode for the teacher because look at all the adults when it came a week prior to what we're seeing currently right now and it invaded that small town <laughs> the teacher was the last adult to be affected by the rule everybody else instantly changed once they were affected but she was the last one why because she had a dream <laughs> sounding like martin luther king and giovanni and giorno giovanni i have a dream <laughs> okay um and her dream was to become a bride of a handsome man and that's what she told Andy in last week's episode that she wants to put on a wedding dress and wants to know what it feels like to be a bride walking down the aisle towards her her future husband. So that's why compared to every other spoiled zombie in the area, she still has some cognitive sense left because she's not she's spoiled, but not fully. At least she I will say probably she's 80 percent there. Right. It's because her dream is allowing her to still have that conscious uh thinking towards everything that's surrounding her and of course once you're kind of spoiled you can understand the language and everything so hence why she was able to talk to the kids telling them thank you and all of that stuff and on top of that i think also another rule is if you're kids it may take a little longer when you're younger right because it's kind of funny and it's sad in a way that like the adults automatically 
turn into zombies versus it took longer for the children to be affected because they were within range. Because when you think about it, life affects us all the older we get, right? The more we start to see the world, the less color we see in the world, the less aspirations or our dreams come true when reality starts to bottle down on us all versus a child. So when you have that little girl crying and then the oldest child in the group is coaxing her and, you know, trying to keep her calm and he's asking her, hey, what's your dream one day? What do you want to do when you grow older? And she's like, I want to be a florist. Um, I want to grow sunflowers just like our teacher did, right? So that's why even though spoil has been afflicted upon the children, because children have such imagination and they view the world in such a colorful way, sunflowers being the representative of the theme overall for dreams, okay, in this episode, that's why they haven't been spoiled as of yet. And also with the teacher, despite everything she's been through as an adult, she still has that one lingering dream, hence why she hasn't fully turned as of yet so to know that that's the counter the negate to spoils uh ruling is going to be spoils undoing come next episode okay and that that was just so beautiful like your dreams and your aspirations so long as you hold on to them nothing can truly spoil it no matter how much life boggles down on you no matter how much life hits at you so long as you have this certain aspiration that you want to obtain life isn't that bad it, it can be a road of sunflower oh i love that oh oh i love that message not i'm really thinking about it man oh keep that in mind no matter how much life tries to spoil everything for you never forget your dreams and ask for Oh, oh, I love that. I love that. Wow. That no, that's powerful, man. That's that's powerful. I have a dream. It's true. But um, nonetheless, this episode was awesome. The action was amazing. It felt like they tried to throw in a little attack on Titan reference as well as Sun Wukong. <laughs> um, and it's funny, Shen's like his dream is to be the greatest being in the world, in the universe. He got the staff. He's Chinese. I'm just saying that there was a little Sun Wukong uh, reference up in there above the heavens. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. So, um, and you know, Foucault's standing on business. She's like, so long as I'm alive, so long as I'm human and everything, I have dreams that I want to accomplish. I want to be a regular girl. Okay, and that's how her numbers went up as well as Shen's and more than likely with Andy's. Uh, I hope it's oh, I mean, yes, he wants to die, but hopefully we can hear what his dream and aspirations is aside from something so cynical in next week's episode. So guys, do tell me in the comment section below on how you feel about episode seven of Unbed Unluck. If you guys have any dreams and aspirations, do tell me. I, I would like to know. Don't let life spoil it for you. Don't let your circumstances ruin that dream and turn you into a mindless zombie no matter how much life is punching at you guys trying to wear you down you gotta get back up man you have to <laughs> you have to to really live life and walk that sunflower path road all right the links are in the description box so you guys go check that out and i'm kimmy channel of anime legends and i'll see you guys later bye Oh, 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 oh,